I'm so glad Pink Puff is here. So we can finally finish this once and for good. And he reached 9999 at about level 85. Whereas Paladin Cecil never reached 9999, but came close. I don't know if I want to fight mine because like, you have to use magic attacks against it. Just take my word for it that Dark Knight Cecil is pretty powerful at level 99. Well, I mean, I'll fight this guy. Just one won't hurt. And just uh, showing off that uh, end up being break wasn't uh, the number one thing I was expecting, but it's actually very useful. I appreciate having it. Useful when you have to fight like um, a bunch of like carries and warlocks and like red giants or whatever at the same time. Just cast break on everybody. And really just like attacks and magical attacks can't even hurt Dark Knight Cecil. There's no incentive to er, there's no incentive to fight any battles because not only am I at level 99, but I also have nines for GP. And even for experience. There's absolutely no incentive to fight anyone. Other than I might lose money. I'm Zeromus. I'm hatred itself. I won't let you destroy the Earth. Ha ha ha. Good luck, Earthling. Yeah, nothing I can do here. Oh. Let's just do that. What's going to happen? Fool, my dark barrier <laughs> can never be dispelled by a man of darkness. I mean, level 99. You just, you, cause you know you gotta do a big grind to do a solo Cecil run by the end. And at that point it's just kinda like, once you dismiss all your party members and you start seeing how quickly you're gaining levels, you're already at like level 75, it's like well every two battles I gain another level so why wouldn't I go to level 99? So I just do, at that point, like at the end of the game, like the very end it just gets easy. It was like an extra hour, hour and a half. Um, but before I dismiss my party members I would spend like months on that. Alright anyway. Suffer and perish. My hatred will last until I destroy all. Now it's your turn. Come into my darkness. That's not Cecil. Ah, was a sacred light. It's almost true form shows. Darkness cannot overcome darkness. Golbez? I climbed Mount Ordeals and purged myself of the darkness that was in my heart. My light has made Zeromus temporarily vulnerable. Go, Cecil, destroy this evil. Cecil's like, I was gonna go there after I was done here. Alright, well. I win. Although Bio is pretty powerful. <laughs> He's gonna do Big Bang like right now. Watch it does like 5,000 damage and I'm screwed. 
Oops. Oh well. A for effort, buddy. Cat, you showed up at the right time. I can give you attention. Until this battle ends itself. I haven't done this yet, by the way. Wow. Still over 9,000. Damn, he's, do he's doing a lot of damage. No, must stay above 9,000. Oh no. Wait, does that mean I lose my Berserk buff? I consider it a buff in my, in my case. Oh man. I want his HP to stay over 9,000. Oh, well. Since we haven't done Bio yet. See, I can do magic too. Oh, that's right. You think you can, uh, <laughs> think you can target me with single target magic? Bitch, please. Alright, any second now. It's good that I didn't actually leave the room and make a sandwich like I said I was going to do. Because I forgot he can cast Black Hole. And that can, um... Did I win? That can apparently dispel my, um, Berserk-ness. Thanks for GG's. You ever watch um, people speedrun Free Enterprise? They have all those different uh, Zoroma sprites that are randomized at the end. I was uh, just trying to tune in just for the last boss fight. Yeah, so good. You have beaten me for now, but I can never be truly vanquished. As long as there's evil in people's hearts, I will live on. The more wars you wage, the more power you seek, the more grudges you hold on to, the more monsters will appear, the more tame creatures will become vicious, and the more power I will gain, until I can take physical form once more. Till then, farewell. Done. Rolbez, thank you for your help. It doesn't make up for everything I've put you through. But everyone on earth or put everyone on earth through. Rolbez. I forgive you. What a wild dream. I can barely remember it. Oh well, better go meet Kane. We have a package to deliver. The end. To quote the Let's Play Archive by I believe it was Mega64. It was all a fucking dream? Let's go, Cecil. Outside the castle is the city of Baron. Let's gather information and equipment in the city.
I happen to know that, uh, no, since I was reading the Let's Play, I didn't, like, watch the actual frames from the ending, but didn't realize it would be quite so short. But, uh, yeah, it's essentially a new game plus. Thus, the Dark Knight Cecil was expelled from his command as captain of the Red Wings. He and Dragoon Kane left Baron for the village, missed in a hurry, and closed in deep fog. Airships had been a dream of many people. After the realization of the dream came greed and ambition. Through its fleet of airships, Baron became the most powerful nation. But why is Baron seeking the crystals? Why do the monsters keep increasing? The crystal is shedding its light silently. I forget how long this opening scrawl is. So, Cecil stays at level 99, everyone else gets reset. Do I get to keep my equipment? Yes! Deathbringer, Hades Shield, Hades Glove, Robe of Lords, and Ribbon. Look at me, goddammit. Now, I have some gear for Kane. Can I get it from the fat Chocobo? Well, actually, hang on. I don't even need the fat Chocobo because... Yes, I'm wasting a whistle, but I'm clearly just messing around right now. Alright. I'm just gonna take, I guess, Dragoon gear for you. Dragon. Can you equip the ribbon? Sure! Okay. Can you equip the Robe of Lords? No. Protect Ring? No. Rune Axe, but no, you already have the Dragon, whatever. Then I need, um... Uh, yeah. Okay, that ought to do it, right? Sure, got a lot of stuff I never sold. Well, let's hope I took enough stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and that. Well, let's uh, play around for a little bit. I probably should have grabbed a chocobo, but then I didn't. Die! Oh yeah, suck it! And I had to read it, read up on it just to make absolutely sure. You do play through the entire game again. Like, for real. How much does Kane do? It can't be that bad. Oh, if Kane gets a turn. Wow! Will Kane even get a turn? Yes! Yes! So, I mean, yeah, um, I would actually consider playing this whole game again start to finish. Um, should I save? I mean, I guess I probably should. Oh, no. Just take all your turns before Kane gets a turn. Oh good, he gets a turn because we're attacking first. I mean, yeah, I've earned it. If I'm gonna play on Press Crisis again, I'm gonna do it just like this. 
As you can see, I never really sold anything. Go back. Who is it? I've actually never learned that. I haven't really studied, like, speed strats. Is this, like, a new feature for, for this hack? Or is that, like, some sort of glitch I need to learn? You're talking about like something before the mist dragon fight or something you can do in the village of mist i'm not sure i know what a mist clip is but if it's too complicated to explain then i guess i won't do it <laughs> let's make this a fair fight by draining all cecil's experience right people are watching this video he doesn't even know how to mist clip Oh. And how does that help me jump straight back to the final dungeon? That would just skip through to um, Kaibo, right? Oh! So I could go to the final dungeon with just Dark Knight, Cecil, and Kane? Are you, is that what you're telling me? Wow. Huh. Oh, that is tempting. Because you know what I was going to do? I'll point out that uh, the Let's Play that I looked at... Leave now. Is it a monster? Um, the guy I mentioned earlier, you know, like, you know, I... And it's a good thing that, like, I did check his Let's Play and spoil th some things for myself. Because, um... You know, otherwise I probably wouldn't have gone back and done, like, you know, all these different endings. Um, but I was glad I did, because even though I spoiled them for myself, like, I was still motivated to do it, because they seemed worth, uh, experiencing. And I was glad I did. I had fun. But anyway, um, he played up until here. He's like, at this point, it just looks like you can steamroll the whole game with, uh, level 99 Cecil or whatever. Well, it's assuming you actually go level 99. He did not. He did, like, a much earlier level, I think. But, um, he's like, I decided to just make my own ending here. You walk up to this tile here? One's from Baron. Who are you? Return now and I will not harm you. Show up. You still wish to go on? Just click no. And then you head back to Baron and then um, make up your own ending in your in your own head. Cecil goes back. He knows what he knows. He kills the fake king. He kills Golbez. Radio's mom never has to die. Nothing has to happen. Um, but you're telling me to try a misclip. So, all right. I don't know where the exact tile is, but maybe we can help each other out. Let's see. We should probably showcase it if we can. Good, yeah. There's not a whole lot of information on this of this uh, on this game out there, but um, that was easy enough to find. All right, so we're actually gonna go a little bit further than he went this time, since we got Pink Puff here. Must deliver this package to the village of Mist. Then I must. The mist is gathering. Yeah, <laughs> suck it. Do 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 do. <laughs> Alright, so. Don't enter the village or enter the village? I'll enter the village, but I won't move. Like, if that's what you're gonna tell me to do.
Oh. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we don't get to see it then. But hey, it was fun to kill the last boss in one hit. So wait, it's on the overworld? Like, do I have to use a tent here? If you don't know, that's fine. I'll just, um... Should I even bother saving then? I don't know if I should. Because, um... Yeah, you know what? Fuck it, just save. Why not? Um, alright, cool. Well, maybe I'll try it uh, on a stream sometime. Um, I'm not promising I'll actually play through the game, or through the end of the game again like this, but, uh, I mean, it wouldn't be hard. It'd actually be kind of fun, I guess, if I was just, like, bored. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, Powerpuff, uh, thanks for making this amazing Final Fantasy IV hack. Uh, I don't know what to say, I'm just blown away. So, um, yeah, and thanks for being here, too, and thanks for watching.